In OnSong 2023, we added a new feature called multi-tracks. That means that you can import multi-track backing tracks into OnSong and then make changes to those tracks by muting or adjusting the volume of individual instruments. But one of the awesome features of multi-tracks in OnSong is its ability to synchronize navigating through your chord chart while the multi-track plays using nothing but the guide track. Now the great thing is, is this works with any multi-track that you import into OnSong and it even works with PDF files. So let's take a look. I'm going to go in here to my songs. Now I have a blank library, so we have lots of room to improve <laughs> and I'm going to import some charts. I'm going to go in here to praise charts. Praise charts is great because they have not only the chord charts in various formats like PDF, but also multi-tracks to go with that. I'm gonna go over here to my library, and these are all things that I've already purchased. Now, there's a good chance that I have some backing tracks for House of the Lord or Goodness of God. So let me check those. Onsong goes ahead and checks to see what I have access to. Looks like I already have chords and lyrics available to me, and even some piano and lead sheets. And as I scroll down, we'll even see if I have some multi-tracks available, which I do. So I'm going to import that multi-track. Now it's available in two different keys from Praise Charts, probably the original key and one that's easier to play. I'm going to pick the key of A. Now remember that OnSong can also transpose my multi-tracks to match the key that I'm playing in with my song. But we're going to stick with the key of A for now. Now multi-tracks can be quite large, a couple hundred megabytes just to start. So this download process might take a little bit of time. One thing to keep in mind about multi-tracks is that OnSong can actually use a number of different multi-tracks, even ones that you create. A multi-track for OnSong is simply a zip file that contains audio tracks. Those audio tracks do need to be uncompressed data, like WAV or AIFF files. You can also include thumbnails to use as album artwork, you can even include chord charts in the multi-track, which will be imported after the multi-track is brought into your audio library. Let's take a look at what we just imported. The multi-track is already imported, so I'm gonna really quick go over here and also import my chord charts. So I'm gonna go to chords and lyrics. Now with praise charts, I can pick Chord Pro, which is a text-based file, or I could pick one of their PDF file formats. Let's pick a PDF file format just to see how that works. We can pick the key as well as what type of chart I want. If I want two columns, one column, large print, etc. And I'm going to hit import. There, once we've imported, the file is available in my viewer. Now we're going to go ahead and import that multi-track to be played along with our chord chart. To do that, I'm going to tap on this play button in the lower right corner. Since I have no track to play, I'm going to be prompted to choose a custom track. Let's tap there. And then we're going to import from our audio media library. All multi-tracks are imported into the audio media library. There it is, goodness of God. Now when I hit play, I should be prompted to give access to OnSong to listen for speech. OnSong actually listens to the guide track that's provided with the multi-track. And when it hears certain keywords, it will automatically find those sections in my PDF file and scroll to them. Let's take a look. I'm going to tap on Enable and then play through my chart. As you can see, as the guide is played back, which you're not hearing right now, it's actually going to go through my chart section by section. Remember, this is a PDF file, not just a text-based file. Let's take a look at the multi-track mixer widget. To do that, I'm gonna tap in here to my additions menu and open up the mixer. This is going to show me beautiful album artwork as well as different faders for each of the channels of my multi-track. I could tap and move that around. I could even pinch to resize it to make more room for different things. The important thing to remember though 
is that in my settings, I, by default, on song is going to only play the music. You're not gonna hear the click or the guide coming out of your iPad. We did that so that it's very similar to any other backing track in OnSong. However, the click and cue can be routed through the left channel or the right channel of your audio output. Or you could just turn it on so you hear it. This other section down here is called Auto Mute. OnSong automatically figures out which of your channels belong to which group. So the click and cue will automatically be sent to those particular areas. Um, and as well as different instruments. So for instance, if your multi-tracks might have vocals that you want to mute automatically, you could turn on auto mute for those vocals. Now when we play our track, we'll see that you can hear the click and the cue coming through, as well as when that cue is mentioned to go to the chorus, our song should automatically navigate to chorus one. So I hope that showed you just how easy it is to import a multi-track into OnSong, link it to a chord chart that we downloaded or that we made ourselves, and to have OnSong automatically navigate that chord chart using the guide or cue track in our multi-track. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us.